Nailed it. Nailed no. it. Boo. Boo. That's a comment from our podcast. <laughs> West on YouTube. Boo. Also, it's so, isn't it weird that like that's what ghosts, that's their word? Boo. You know? It is It is weird. I don't know why it's boo. Did, did somebody try like, scaring somebody else in the real world with boo? And then ghosts are like, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. I don't too. know why that's the word. That word's for anything. Like when a crowd boos. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ghosts are usually disappointed that the living are inhabiting their spaces. So as much as they're scaring them, they're probably also poo-pooing their existence in their in their space. Boo! I don't like you in my house. I used to live here. It's mine. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? No, I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Well, Kyle's in a haunted dungeon. I have poor lighting, and Charlene's the only person who's still in bed. So, let's talk about Ghost, everyone. Ghost, the movie with Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore. We're switching directions on this pod. I haven't watched Ghost in a while. Pal, you're good with words. You know that, man? I think the gym is dumb. Did Rachel was, walk in the room? Of course I've eaten a Baconator. Man, if you ain't doing CrossFit, you can get CrossFit. You're shuffle. right. A long burger's not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's your sitcom right there as a, as a, as a Mr. Fix-It-All who just can't fix his heart. We will not be defending Atlantic City. No accounting for taste. If it's something that somebody loves, let's try and celebrate it instead of uh, shitting on it. And we're back. This is... All right. No accounting for taste. It's no accounting for taste. I uh, ghosts. Uh, you know me. I love them. My house is unfortunately not haunted, or at least not yet. I've given it every opportunity. I've been here. I've been waiting for scary I don't know. stuff. That shower in the basement is fairly. It should horrible. be haunted. It should be haunted. That's the thing. This house should be haunted. I have not heard any activity. I got to get my little reader, my little ghost detector. It's around here somewhere. Why you want it to be haunted, bro? I don't know. It could be cool. <laughs> so I think I think it's cool. Oh. I, in my head, it'd be like having a cat. Like, oh, it's this thing that's around. It's pretty aloof. Doesn't really mess with me much. But once in a while, it's got an attitude. <laughs> I think that would be neat. I think it would meet that a ghost. Like, oh man, so who's knocking stuff off the counter? Oh, this rascal. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. I don't know. I don't want them. I like. I my my ghost. We're talking about ghost today. Ghost hunt uh, specifically ghost hunting, but we're yeah yeah. This is where you're going to do a lot of the heavy lifting today, Kyle. Because All right. ghost hunting, I think is asinine. Okay. Whoa. And yeah. All right, yeah. dude. Yeah. All right. Sorry, you don't have any wonder in your life, you know. I have plenty of wonder. Dude. Look at this. You see this sanitan sanitizer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Made it myself. It was a wonderful experience. Wonder. There you, you go. You made hand sanitizer. My friend made it. I'm lying. I, I may not have any wonder left. You, you're probably right. Let's go ghost hunting. I That's... don't know. I'm hung over. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Charlene, I don't need this look on your face. Shane's right being mean. haunted by the ghosts of last night. Shane as in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we, I mean, we don't have to air your dirty laundry, but Shane's hung over. Yeah. The rest Jenny's of us aren't. Hungry. Yeah. Uh, the rest of do, us aren't. What a judgy do, prick. Do you? Hey, do you not? Do you believe in ghosts, Shane? I believe it's possible. Very much. Would you want? Think, would you um, want to be haunted? Would you want to experience a haunting? Let me put it that way. Not just something that's like there all the time, fucking with your life. Okay. Well, let's work this on a number scale. Okay. Uh, um, are we saying like? What kind of level of haunt? Like, what is a two on a scale of one to ten for like ghost hunt? Like when you're like, you're like all right, oh, a couple of eggs are popping on the on the countertop, kind of thing. Nothing, like nothing harmful, nothing ominous, but an unknown presence is in your living space, m moving stuff around. Mm. I Doors mean, opening and closing. I lose my keys like three times a day. That could already be happening. That's not what is happening. I so was. <laughs> <laughs> I've had I've had oh, yeah. it where like I'm like I wish it was a ghost because there's no I, I had a whole box of different like 
packing tape, painter's tape, all this. Uh I've been through every corner of this goddamn house. I know it's in the house. Yeah, yeah. Gone. Yeah. I know it's in the house is the name of this episode. Works for Kyle's packing tape and for ghosts. (laughs) Yes. Yes. I had to go buy the third can of WD-40. These ghosts, ironically, do not want a squeaky house. Because my WD-40 <laughs> keeps going missing, and I think that's so they can do their shit at night without waking me up. Have you checked your WD-40 drawer? <laughs> it's not. It's probably in the same spot all, with the tape. I guarantee you all three of those cans are right next to one another. I fucking, I'm losing my mind. I don't know where it is. I know I used it. I know I used it. Not too long ago. I bet it's on ago. the back porch. I bet it's on the back porch. There's nothing on the porch. No, it's there. I think I, I I would love the idea of a ghost that is knows it's a ghost and doesn't want to bother anybody. So it's like it is going around WD fording the doors. <laughs> Tidies make, up. Yeah, making sure like I don't need yeah. this guy thinking You're I'm like, some I don't slob. remember doing the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I would love a benevolent poltergeist. I would love, yeah, like a, mm. a neat freak. I would love to be haunted by a neat freak. I think that would be uh yeah, like someone <laughs> Yeah. Just like straightens your pictures after they make them crooked. Yeah, that, that kind my of bed's thing. made. I never make my bed. I make, <laughs> how often do you guys make your bed every day? I used to. I, I if I, I if it. I'm just by it. myself, yeah, I usually because I got the weighted blanket, so I'm pretty um, mm-hmm. I'm pretty uh, stuck when I sleep, so I'm not really messing it all up. So all I got to do is like flip the sh- bed spread back over. But if if it's like a wild night and I'm all kicking and flailing, I kind of just I'll I'll get to it. I'll straighten it out before I get back in. I slept under a lot of laundry last night. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I did that early. I did that early twenties move. I love it. Were there forgot- sheets on the bed, or there were the, no sheets? No, the, the, the bed was the bed was made, and then I forgot I did okay. laundry and dumped it on the bed, and then right. I was like yep. so tired. I got back into smoking bongs. Uh-huh. Do, I do that uh-huh. now that I don't drink. I was smoking yeah, yeah. bongs, and I watched Bullet Train last night. Then I'm like, oh yeah, buddy, just go to sleep. That's what you want to do right now. And it's just laundry <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, somebody's gonna be extra extra warm underneath these <laughs> underneath these me undies. <laughs> 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 me sleepy underneath wow. me undies. Wow. I came home <laughs> shit faced and somehow you had a drunker version of sleep. Smoking tubes, man. I was pulling tubes. Yeah, are you done drinking? No. Or are you just not drinking? No, I'm just I'm just not drinking and just gonna see how long. I don't know, man. I yeah. was out doing yard work. It was 70 degrees out. I mean, if it wasn't beer 30, I don't know when was, and I, I managed to <laughs> I managed to pass beer it up. 30. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's the matter? You never talked we, to an uncle before? We, <laughs> <laughs> you never had a cool neighbor? You're not an uncle. <laughs> oh, is he drinks from his traveler redneck guzzler mug? <laughs> Bean Street. I'm not going to make the joke, Shane, but you can. Oh, hey, I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Shane was born. Uh, Shane was born at I'll the intersection what. of this and Potato Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I gotta say this. Uh, nice fart. No, he's. I'm glad your soundboard's back, Charlie. Yeah, uh, I gotta get that soundboard. <laughs> Any ghosts? I um, cannot. Uh, that's the closest. All right. I can. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I could not stop farting this morning. My hangover was all lower level. Ah. <laughs> uh. I didn't even have that bad a headache, but man. You got a belly full I of ghosts. Like, <laughs> belly full of spirits trying to get out. <laughs> it was. It was like there was a new dog in in the house or something. It was crazy, the amount of farts. <sighs> but anyways, we're talking about We're still ghost talking about hunting. ghost hunting. I, always, I, would, I would go to tr- get spooked out. We would go into abandoned buildings with the hopes of getting... Scared by something. You never did that when you were a kid, going to an abandoned place? I've, I've oh, told no, my stories a thousand times before. If that's, but if that's ghost hunting, then we definitely did that. Not proper, but we'd go. Tegan and I went to the Waverly Sanitarium, which is like an old tuberculosis hops, hospital. And it's funny because it, like, there's a guy that's – there's a tour guide, and he's like, 
And in this hallway, you may, uh, a lot of people oftentimes will see shadow figures crawling the wall. And like the people on the tour are so excited. Like, I see, I see him now. I can see him. And even the guy that's supposed to be like a psychic, he's like, no, you don't. They're not here right now. <laughs> he, even he shut them down. The guy that claims he can communicate with the dead shut them down. He's like, no, you don't. It's like his version of like being a waiter and having a table come in five minutes before close. <laughs> yeah. You know, like yeah. that kind of thing. Like, like, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. It's just, it, but it is like the, the, I think the popularity of it and like the, the desire. It's like Christians seeing Jesus everywhere. It's like these people want to feel. I think the ghost hunting thing makes people with pretty boring lives, it gives them something to be excited about. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's like, it's pretty fucking harmless. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go creep around some scary buildings. Get weirded yeah. out. Have you seen that guy I'm, on TikTok um, that he found, like, he's a ghost hunter, but he found an old slave cemetery, and it was, like, overrun, and so he's, like, pulling all of the yard work and or doing all this yard mm. work and making it, like, pretty again. Yeah. And he has some sort of recorder that, like, tapes the ghosts talking if you believe yeah. that that's true and uh i do not they're <laughs> they're at first they were really pissed off that he was there especially because he was a white dude but yeah. then now they're very happy that he's cleaning up the joint <laughs> so what do you think about that guy i mean this sounds like a pr i would like to hear the recordings does it just sound like him no, it sounds all weird and messed up. Like it's yeah. playing backwards or some shit, you know? It's just like, okay, you know, obviously Dave and I had the boogie monster and we dove deep on this stuff. It's just mm -hmm. any semi Yeah, you guys got real deep during in between biscuit recipes. Yeah, yeah. Occasionally we'd uh, <laughs> uh we'd look at uh the first page of Google search results on the topic. Uh <laughs> but it's there's never been proof. There's never like of all the equipment we have, all the stuff, just like Bigfoot and everything. The alien one, that shit was still crazy when the Navy is like, we don't know what that is. Like, basically, we're like, yeah, we saw aliens. And nobody's freaking out about it. I think that's crazy right now. Mm -hmm. That we're all just yeah. like, oh, God. what? Oh, I got to deal with aliens, too? I, you already got me picking between these two old fucks for president. And there's aliens? <laughs> Come on. How much are you trying to put on my plate right now as a citizen of the Earth? It seems like they are really going to strike at the perfect time when it happens. I... If the, yeah. if they're gonna strike, but the th but all the Bigfoot, all the ghost stuff, there's never any clear footage. There's never any stuff. I think all the TV shows are so hokey, and I've done jokes about yeah. this way in the past. Like I don't know why it's always bros trying to provoke spirits. Like why not go in with a positive attitude and be like, hey, what's up, ghosts? I'd love it if you'd like to talk to me. And just chill out and have a good attitude about talking to ghosts instead of like, look, bro, I dare you. Yeah. I dare you, spirits. Do they like do it <laughs> under the nerds? Do, do they do it under the guise of like provoking it? Like, like they're like, we're trying to wrestle it up a bit. Yeah, to try, so like get a, a try and get a reaction. So, basic... Yeah, they're the original TikTok pranksters. They're just doing it with entities instead of like dudes inside a Walmart. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to get a reaction for content. Just trying to get just a prank for content. I drag him to God. hell. <laughs> God damn it. I wish that some of these ghosts lived and took these people. Yeah. I I uh I will can I say what I and if I told where, this story where, Oh sorry, go ahead, Shane. I want Where do you guys understand stand? Well, I overstand most things. Um <laughs> All right, glad I let you take the lead on this one. So yeah, no, no. Where do you guys stand on the friendly ghost thing? Not like Casper. I'm not making a joke here, but like, are they all? Do you think they all have like an axe to grind? These ghosts, or there is there like a? Here's. Do you see what I'm saying? My idea of ghosts. Well, I think they th like if there's a ghost, it's because it feels like it has unfinished business here, or it doesn't, or it's a spirit. It's something that doesn't know it's dead. 
I will allow the idea that we're all like we operate like there's electricity in human beings. There's synapses and everything. And if your life is cut short, you know, ener- energy cannot be created or destroyed. And I know this is hokey. I'm not saying this is, this is just how I look at it. That energy has ha- energy has to be transferred. So that if you die of a disease or something, that's your that's your battery being depleted. But if your energy, if your cut life is cut short or something tragic happens, then that energy somehow goes somewhere else. I'm not saying you turn into like a human shaped thing with a sheet over it, walk in the halls of a house. But yeah. that, but that something that energy somehow transfers it somewhere else. I don't know how. It's just my one little thing of like trying to believe it's that there's your, like a, this is your way of going. Yeah, but I don't know how you I, see um, it. I don't know how you experience. I mean, I'd much more believe light switches going, you know, lights going on and off in a building than an actual figure walking through it. That's um, that's pretty dumb. Yeah, no, I, um, I, don't, I know. No, I, I know it is. I think the energy, I the energy thing, it. I agree with, kind of not agree, but like I see you. I see where you're coming. I'm sorry, I I am not even – do you allow the possibility of God since you allow the possibility of ghost? Yeah, I allow the possibility of everything. Because church is kind of like Christian ghost hunting. Yeah. No, it's in, it's, it's in, what, you, it's in what you pray for. You're praying to a holy ghost. Yeah. It's in, it's in the terminology. You are believing in spirits. That's, a, a, yeah. that's 100% what it is. Yeah, I don't – yeah, I just I, 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 I I'll, I'll allow these possibilities just because it's more interesting than to just shut shit down. But I'm not out okay. there. I used to try and go like, oh, I want to go get spooked. I want to read all about it. Now every time any video that comes up or anything, it's all it's either fake or it's some bullshit. Like I don't buy into it. I'll I'll yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> let me say this one story. <laughs> Tegan and I went on a little like we're going on a spooky road trip. My sister and I went on a spooky road trip. We did that Waverly Sanitarium. We went to the spot. We went to one. What's that? Waverly. It was like Ohio, Kentucky border. Okay. So, and we went to Bobby Mackey's Music World, which is this, you know, haunted place. And the woman that was giving us the tour there were like, well, what else is around that might be spooky in the area? She's like, oh, there's this. Uh, and if I did this story here, let me know. But there's this. Um, it's a haunted rectory. It's, you know, the, the house that the priests get to stay in next to a church. He's like, yes. these people, they're rehabbing it, but they let you stay there for the night. And so we last minute, we're like, hey, we're wondering if the place is open to stay in tonight. I'm like, yeah, you can come by. So we go there, and it's it's big. It's you know two, two stories with a basement and an attic and several bedrooms, and we're going to be the only ones staying there. We walk up. There's a woman sitting in a car. There's a guy waiting at the door to let us in, and there's a woman that's sitting in the car. And we go in, and it's already dusk, and this guy's like, okay, so I'll just give you a brief rundown because obviously, you know, there's all the ghost stuff, but I'll just tell you. This is where the priests lived. Uh, they think it's bad because they think a lot of priests that were living here were, got, were priests that got busted, and so this was like their little, ooh, let's just keep it hush-hush and move these priests out of the area for getting busted for the thing that priests get busted doing. So they think there's bad, there's bad vibes on that. Like also, you'll notice that all the doors are chewed up underneath the below the doorknobs because when it was abandoned, they were like having <laughs> dog fights in here. So that's pretty bad too. So and he's like, "Yeah, there's the attic. That's where people think they, they, you know, that's where the ghost hunting people do that." He goes over there. That's the basement, and I don't go in the basement. <laughs> and Tegan just goes, "Why don't you go in the basement?" He just goes, "I don't go in the basement. Here's the keys. Lock up tomorrow when you leave." So. The first thing we do in this giant abandoned half finished house. Can uh, I keep going? I'm sorry. I'm we I'm, I wasn't we go we go to the ghost hunters episode. <laughs> yeah, take some notes. We go to the ghost hunters episode that they did about that house. And they're no. they're well, if they... so the the dickheads from the show are there, but then there's that guy and the woman we saw in the car, and they're in the basement, and it. Everybody starts freaking out on the show, and the lady comes up, and she's got, like, scratches all over her back from being in the basement. And this guy didn't tell us anything. He's just like, I don't go in the basement. And the woman didn't even come in the house. And so that made us extra scared 
Because then we watch that sitting there and we're alone in this house and it's not in a good neighborhood either. <laughs> and so the first That's not. we went we went in the basement right away. <laughs> first thing we did, we went in the basement. It was like we went in the basement it, right away. It, it was scary, but no, nothing happened. Mm. But that was a good setup of like, ooh, this place is scary. That guy told us this part's scary. Let's watch the video. Oh, that lady wouldn't even come out of the car and she got fucked up. Oh, we have to stay here tonight. We slept, brother and sister slept fully clothed in the same bed that night. It was like, if you have to go. That's, a, that's, you, another, that's another sin to add to this. Yeah, place. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if I fully clothed above the covers. I think they could tell what was up. And they were like, if you have to get up and go to the bathroom, I'll stand watch. You do the same for me. <laughs> it was it was scary. We didn't see anything, but we were we got a good scare out of it. So, Well. Here's what I'm going to say. Okay. I feel like the lady in the car is a plant. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I think this guy knows what he was doing. I don't know. I want to be skeptical, but I don't want to, you know, poo poo your wonder. But it's, uh, we didn't, yeah. we didn't see the show before we went in there. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little, what do you think, Charlene? Cause I don't know what to, like, I'm very skeptical about this stuff. Yeah. But that's, if that's ghost hunting, yeah. I would call that ghost hunting because you're trying to like. Yeah, we went to a, we know. went to a haunted place to spend the night and see if we get spooked out. Maybe ghosts would be more apt to it if they were like we're just going ghost finding because hunting is so. Violent, yeah, that's know? what like, I'm. That's was the old joke I used to do. Like, how are you going to hunt something that's already dead? Yeah, and it's not. <laughs> it's yeah. not. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you know the McMinimans <laughs> Hotel where the UFO festival is. <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, so it used to be. A who, are you pe- who are you talking to right now? It used to be a. Pe- <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't remember the name of the. I think I see actual- a, I think I see a poster for it on Kyle's wall. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the name of the How actual hotel, but um, but uh, it it used to be a people's farm, you know. And um, what does that mean? So. <clears throat> What you grow people? No, grow people. It, it's like a, a like if you have a labor camp, basically. Where you go to jail, but you have to work off whatever oh, okay. you owe in order to, but then you never leave because you never work mm-hmm. off what it is. Oh, you know, okay. a people farm. So, yeah. um, so that's what that place was before it was a hotel. So it's like super haunted because like okay. gross. And every room is named after somebody that lived there at some point. And so me and a bunch of friends went to go see the Adele concert there and we got a room. And the room was called the Mini Tibbets room. And in the room, and it has a picture, like a painted picture of her that is a child. So it's not only yeah. creepy, but it's a it's a kid named after yeah. a kid. And in the room is this tiny door that has a deadbolt on it, like an old school deadbolt. Not one that you go to the store right now and get, but one mm-hmm. from like the... 20s or something and uh and it's the and it's It's across from the bed like you can't not see it because it's directly across from the bed where you're trying to trying to sleep but you're not sleeping at all yeah and uh and many tip and it tells what many tibbet's life was it wasn't good spoiler and she died of Mm. consumption is that tuberculosis yeah, but I, in I mean, my they head, said consumption, but I don't know what consumption I think is. It's, so she, I think it's what they called tuberculosis, but I didn't know for the longest time. Like, yeah, so she died of consumption. So she died like a, a gross, stuff. long yeah. death, too. So we all get back to Portland and every single there was five of us that stayed in that room and every single one of us gets deathly ill with a horrible <laughs> cough that doesn't go away for mm-hmm. like four mm-hmm. months. <laughs> Ooh. And we all, to this day, wow. whenever we get sick, still call it, you got a case of the mini tibbets. I caught, I caught them tibbets. I caught them tibbets. <laughs> and sometimes we sing it to Adele songs, mini tibbets. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think she was, she was pissed at us for staying in her space and making there, fun of her. There were venues in Edinburgh where Oof. so mm. many of them, like, the there's here's the venue and then through the venues another door on that side and these were all the tombs where people who had the plague they just locked them in there still uh, some yeah. of them still have like oh these are the claw marks around the door from the people trying from to get people. out and people oh, would do Jesus. shows people would get like sick from doing their shows in there <clears throat> it's a fucking dungeon it's a tomb 
That's hundreds, and thousands of years old, and you're just like mold, and people are down there every night for their shows, just breathing in tomb air. Gross. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. I don't. Oh God. My experience with. I don't have one, like a ghost hunting one. Now I'm kind of jealous. Do you get you scared? Are... Do you get scared of that kind of stuff? Oh, I'm sure I'll get scared. That's how, it's like, you know, like I'm sure I'd get scared. That's what makes me laugh. But... If, if if people don't believe in the stuff, what do they get? What do they get scared of then? I it's eerie. It's alone. I don't know, man. Fuck off. Like I, <laughs> I. <laughs> I have this thing. Don't make me explain my vulnerabilities. Yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm sure I would get scared. But I also, like, I'm always worried that someone's just going to come in in the middle of the night and fucking hit me over the head with a hammer and kill me. Like, I my, I think that's an esteem. That's, that's an esteem. I guess my, theory. like, anxiety is just manifesting there instead of in a super supernatural way. Why yeah. a hammer? Like, I don't know. <laughs> So oh. personal, but yeah, it does sound like a crime of passion. It sounds like it does sound like a crime of passion. Shane's all, Shane also has yeah. Shane also has low self esteem because he doesn't feel very handy. So that actually drives it home. <laughs> One of the English teachers from my high school killed both of her parents with a hammer. <sighs> Let's unpack that. that. Yeah. Well, Shh. my so my mom worked at the high school, and they still let her work with kids. <laughs> no, it happened while she was working, while she was a teacher. So my mom was working at the high school and it was Labor Day weekend. And my mom says to the lady, what are you going to do for Labor Day weekend? She was like, well, my parents are in town and, you know, they're getting old and they won't be around forever. So I think I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh. This is according to my mom. So I think I'm just going to be with them this weekend. And then Monday rolls around and her, her parents weren't there anymore because they had been hammered in the head. And then all wow. these high school kids made t-shirts that said her name with her picture on it and then hammer time. And then they got suspended. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> she's out now. She was in jail for a long time, but she's out now. Oh man! Sure, I think Charlie's about to have another viral quick. <laughs> <laughs> my God! Oh, my, 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 my. It's one thing to have the joke. It's another thing to go. Let's make the shirts. <laughs> yeah. Because you know they got it made in the community. Somebody else uh -huh. is like, this is, a, this is a good idea. I will help with yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. And you know the other thing you got to think about is like, um, there, there's definitely a teacher or a principal that was just like, these are the worst kids I have ever had. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you know, like, yeah, they just like, it's not funny. And there's like, and I mean, I hope I never stop laughing at shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like. I really do. But, yeah, I can't imagine anybody this day and age going, you know what I want to do is teach. You know what? When I see young people out in public, I'm like, look at these impressionable youths looking to grow. Like, that's not what I see when I see a group of kids. Like, see a fucking, <laughs> yeah, ter see a know-it-all with a phone in their hand. Terrified. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrified of them. I don't know. I, okay. They I want, mostly I want to find out what scares Shane. Mm. Not not like not like dying alone or whatever all your sad shit's all about, but like real like <laughs> scary things, like monsters and stuff. All right, just because I recognize I have a few things I'm worried about, <laughs> and you fucking first of all, motherfucker, you slept under a pile of laundry last night. Yeah, I did. I don't it's, need it was clean laundry. I mean, I feel yeah, like I, that's a pretty I, normal I, thing that people do. I, first of all, yeah. this is bullshit. You guys are reinforcing like. <laughs> Bad thing. This is no, it's not normal to just sleep under. Sure, people have done it. You can drive a car with your feet. Doesn't like I. You do drive a you, car with your feet. You, <laughs> it's 50% of the operation. Are you, know you driving meant. it with your you know hands? Because that's. You weird. know what? Yes, I drive. I steer with my fucking oh, hands, asshole. But it won't go without your feet. 
I know. I know. Uh, you know what I meant, and don't. I didn't. Uh, fuck, fuck, no, no. Fuck you. You, you, you knew. Fuck you. You knew. You're a dick. I really you're didn't. An I really asshole. You've never. Kyle, you're and I you're. Explain. I'm scared of heights. Violent murder. Um, loneliness is one of my things. So heights. Sorry. Murder. Loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but if you're alone, are, you definitely won't get murdered. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> you know what? About this that. is what your problem is. Uh, yeah, what's is my the... problem? <laughs> <laughs> you do drive a car with your hands, too. I ass. can't believe you're that upset about sleeping under clean laundry. Yeah. I'm only upset because you took a jab and I'm feeling sensitive because I'm hungover. <laughs> And also, when I'm not hungover, I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're talking about ghost hunting. <laughs> we're, we're, I mean, we're trying to. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, What's you your reaction when you get really scared? What if somebody thinks ghost hunting is they're just looking for a DVD of that movie and they can't find it? <laughs> <laughs> they call it ghost hunting. I mean, technically. <laughs> <correct>. Anyways. <laughs> I always i i try i wanted to write a show about a guy that lived like a guy that moved to L.A. that is like not about show business like he just got a job as an accountant but he lives on the Sunset Strip because that's where he got an apartment it's haunted by like a ghost of a David Lee Roth type of guy like uh -huh. an old '80s rocker <laughs> and he died because like a, a his friends threw a TV out of a window and it fell on him but sure, then sure. it's his job like he has a ghost he wants the guy to like lighten up. So he's like, come on, man, you're on the Sunset Strip. You got a party. Like, he'd be a party ghost. <laughs> I used, man, I had, I, I legit had, like, a 35-minute long bit about ghosts and about how, like, getting haunted in a studio apartment. I think I wrote it about you, Shane, before I even knew you. It was about how a ghost, <laughs> how hard, of, how tough of a time a ghost would have haunting a guy that's depressed because, like, he's already sad. And you're like, oh, I'm <laughs> I moved his PlayStation from one what? side of the room to the other. He doesn't even care. <laughs> what? What I do to you guys? I'm just today? saying it was about a sad guy, and you're you're always a sad guy. I'm not always a sad guy. Listen to the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine your fingers on that like American sniper, just waiting for the perfect shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, I fucking. <laughs> go ahead. I told my friend Kunal, have you guys met him? Mm -mm. He's a comic. I go, hey, man, I'm going to. Uh, I text him because when I was down last week, I was sad. Mm -hmm. And I text him, I go, hey, man, just make. I'm going to go back to therapy. Make sure I do it. Like, just, you know, shoot me a text and ask me if I did it yet. Mm -hmm. And then he called me today to make sure I did it. And he said, did you go? And I was like, oh, I signed up for better help. And then he just told me a 30-minute story about how a security guard farted in front of him at a Fall Out Boy concert he went to. So I don't have, like, that's what I got, you know, to, like, get me through this. Well, <laughs> he, kinda, he did follow up. He did follow through on what you asked. Yeah. Yeah, but, that, but it was mostly about him getting this story out. Well, but I, heights. I don't I, like driving right. over water. That's a real scary one. Yeah, but that's like How'd a real thing. you live fear. in Portland? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You were there. I mean, you uh, can't. I wanted to... There's 12 bridges. Yeah. Um, I think the, uh, the supernatural thing that would scare me. I, th I think when I, if I'm thinking in like terms of imagery, vastness freaks me out. Like, so... I think I've told you guys this for, before. Like, I know I've told you this, Kyle. But, like, when, like, being in the idea of being in a big field with nothing around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, maybe, like, isolation. Like, like say we went to a farmhouse or something that was supposedly okay. haunted. <clears throat> I think the the expanse would be what freaks me out leading into it. Okay. Like, like the, yeah. Yeah. I, do you, 
Remember we remember when we saw that movie The Witch and we were on tour in yeah. Pennsylvania and then had to drive all the way back Black to the Phillip. hotel. Black Phil yeah. the goat. Basically Black. drove through where they shot The Witch. That was awesome. Yeah. It was like all creepy <laughs> out and it was fall. That ruled. Like that's a, I love yeah. it. I love being scared. I think there's so many legit things to be scared of in the world that to be scared of the stuff that's not real is such a release. Yeah. I get it. Um, I think I think these that, ghost that hunters. I think, that makes sense. Yeah, I think ghost hunters are going for that more than anything. I think it's just a thrill. It's like going to amusement parks. Probably. I don't think these people are ever like, oh, we have definitive proof. They run around a building with their little uh, bleep bloop meters and everything. Yeah, that's the shit. I'm like, if the here's the thing that turns me off is the ghost hunting culture. Yeah. This guy's going to walk around with a fucking e-meter and then I got to, if I'm giving them this credit, part of it is really, I don't want to believe in God. Like the way I don't, like I did not want to eat broccoli when I was a child. But if I'm giving credence to like the spirit thing and the ghost thing, Mm -hmm. I kind of have to do some, allow it for like, because it's kind of the same thing. So like, you know, like, if I'm going to make fun of a Scientologist at the mall who wants to give me a e meter reading or whatever, yeah. I got to do the same thing with the uh, the ghost hunters a little bit, you know. Like maybe, that's so maybe that's or maybe you don't. Maybe there's no god at all, and the fact that there's ghosts is just like the remnants of like when you look at the sun and close your eyes, and there's like a form that's still there. It's just some sort of impression that's been made from a an existence that's been walking around long enough, and there's no god at all, and that's why this shit happens is because it's not heaven or hell or some afterlife it's just like <clears throat> oh this being this energy this thing that contained energy is no longer there but the impression that it made is there and i also allow like <clears throat> i'll allow very <clears throat> few instances of like <clears throat> not people that are psychic or maybe that people that can communicate with the dead is like again all my own bullshit but uh like yeah i think there are instances where if somebody has like crazy vision where they can spot you know, they can read the finest line on something from 100 yards because they are – something happened where they have hyper-tuned vision or hyper-tuned hearing. Yeah. It's one in 10 million people that have it. Maybe that happens every so often with somebody that can kind of like, oh, there's – I'll communicate with somebody that's passed on or something. I don't have any proof of it. I'll allow it. But yeah. I don't think you have to yeah. overlap it with a God or a religious thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just – I'm not trying to overlap it with like God, but I'm saying like if – I got to admit, both of those are plausible, you know, yeah. and I'm pretty ardently against the idea of creation, you know, creative design or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I, I would say though, weirdly, I don't, the medium thing, I kind of more into it. I, like, I, would, I would like it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, Ghosts aren't real, but mediums talk to somebody. I know. The people who can talk to them are. On this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care about the product, but you love the salesman. I fucking I love a show. I love a show. Uh, I don't. You know what it is, and I know what it is. I. This is, I you know what it is, and I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll uh, never know. Uh, so next subject. No, I'm gonna tell you, you <laughs> fucking jerks. <laughs> what? what is it? What's the? I. Uh, I mean, I guess there's probably. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you this. I went to a haunted house one time when I was like 13, mm-hmm. and they had a psychic out in front of it. And she was she was just like you need a reading, and then mm. it just kind of always stuck with me that like I was like oh it made me feel special yeah you know so I think that's what it is like I'm just partial I want to believe that there are you know like mediums and that kind of thing so yeah uh, I think that's so it's just a it's just a thing I'm like man but am I like I would like I like a show and I like maybe I want to feel special in some way that other people don't so um, <laughs> maybe I'm like maybe I'm a medium. <laughs> I still love like the whole men who stare at goats that like the the government still tried to incorporate, you know, remote viewing and everything into the military. Like they still tried, they still tried it just, just for military dominance, even the furthest up you can go. 
<laughs> and uh, our Department of Defense are like, yeah, maybe we can get these guys to uh, figure out which shape is on the other side of the card. <laughs> 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 like I like that curiosity went all the way up. Fight the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. The OG. I watched Ghostbusters on the fight. That's the uh, the card thing, right? Is that what was that? What That's you what gets from the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was a uh... God man. Bill Murray's behavior in that movie as a the hero and the lead is a little unsettling. Yeah, he's uh, very predatory. Yeah, hmm. it's great, but. I don't know. What do you guys stand on like mediums, like psychic, me- like like people? Like, I feel if you actually could do that, your life would be hell. Oof, yeah. Like if so you could noisy. actually, yeah, it'd be so noisy. Or if, you know, if you could actually find out where missing people are or something, then mm-hmm. that's it. You, I mean, I bet I, if I think if there is any proof that somebody can actually do that, they've been, they're militarized. They're they're weaponized already. They're 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 locked up somewhere. Oh, you think it? Yeah, they're locked up somewhere in the Department of Defense. <clears throat> That's not a free individual. If somebody could just sit there and remotely tell where people, yeah, that they're not they're not free. They're not walking the earth of their own will. They, mm. They're kidnapped by the government. I wonder. Um, I come from a long uh, line of fortune tellers. Uh, Truly the least surprising thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Canadian gypsy. <laughs> you come from a long line of fortune tellers? Yeah, my great aunt Evie was, uh, like, that's what she did for a living. She was a palm reader and whatever. A seer is what she called it. And she said that every generation has one, and I, I'm the one in our generation of cousins. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm searing some bullshit out of your hands, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, uh, well, Charlene, now that you're waiting, I don't know, 38 minutes into this podcast to reveal this tasty little thing. <laughs> well, this is about um, ghost hunters. <laughs> this isn't about psychics. We're in the fucking part. When do we, uh, and first of all, don't act like now's the time we're going to start sticking to the subject. Uh, <laughs> Have you seen ghosts, Charlene? Have you channeled or anything? Uh, no, I That's don't think man. so. Okay. Well, have you predicted? Sorry. Have you predicted anything? I mean, like, I definitely have strong feelings about things occasionally, where I'm like, I you've made that very clear. I cannot be in this room. Something there's something amiss in this area. Like, I can't be here. And then shit happens. Give us an example. Well, like at South usually by Southwest. When, usually, right? when Shane, usually when Shane stays by. Usually you. when Shane, I'm like, hey, oh, something is wicked this way it. comes. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, when at South by Southwest, I was supposed to go see this one concert and. I was like, I don't know what it is. Like, I do want to see it, but something I something is telling me to just hang tight here for a minute. And so I just was standing on the corner um, for no reason whatsoever. And then it was the year that that car ran through the 15, 20 people. And, um, oh, shit. and that was where I was supposed to be. Really? Yeah. So like there's like definitely times where I'm like, I I'm just gonna leave. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't need to be here. Um but as far as like the number that you're thinking is eleven, no. But I also think anybody I yeah, but I think a lot of people can do that. Like I don't think it has anything to do with anything. I think that's kinda what I I I that is pretty eerie. Do you have another one? Do you have a do you have a second one like that? Um, I mean, like it happens, you know, on occasion. So I don't really think about it that much. Oh, well, okay. So this one was weird. Like one time, so I was in Sisters, Oregon, um, and it snowed nine feet that day. And so me and some friends were there. And so then we went out and we decided, let's make an igloo. And so we made this igloo. And then we decided, let's go on the roof and jump into the igloo. And so then we did Mm. that. And so it was just like a mess and all of the snow and whatever. And my friend Sarah is like, fuck, I lost my cell phone somewhere and all of that mayhem of Mm. us building an igloo and jumping off of a roof onto an igloo. And I was like, oh, I think it's right here. And I dug my hand down like two feet into the snow and pulled up 
her cell phone. And that should have never happened. And in my head, I was like, I don't know. I'm just kidding. And then, but, but I pulled out the cell phone and I was like, well, that's weird, but whatever. (laughs) But I don't think much of it other than like, that was a coincidence that worked out to everyone's benefit, I guess. Well, that's great. That reminds me of something. Like one time, my friend uh, told me a story. There was a big old pile of shit, and I threw up, and I had, and I'm getting nauseous right now. <laughs> huh? I was trying to. Uh, huh? Uh, Is that what? That's all you got? <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. I didn't <laughs> land it. <laughs> right. I don't I even know, think the, it took off. To be the, honest with you, you found a fucking. You found a cell phone. Whatever. In nine feet of snow. I, the, this, I mean, the night it was in two feet of snow. But I. All right. Right. I. I not nothing. Not nothing. <laughs> how many? Not how nothing. many coincidences? Sure it's yeah, something. it's like how many coincidences need to happen before you're like, all right, maybe Bef- I'm going to start before keeping. Shane stops puking. Before Shane, <laughs> <laughs> the South by Southwest one, I'll give you. That's a wild one. The cell. Yeah, to me, you found a cell phone on this other one. <laughs> like, I don't know. What do you think, Kanane? I think I'm just feeling defensive again. Obviously, Shane's <laughs> being defensive. Who could have predicted that? Uh, uh, I I I think uh, that's one of those like how many coincidences has have to happen in a row before you start really taking note or keeping a log of that stuff, right? Uh, Like okay, that was weird. That one was weird. That one was weird too. Yeah. All right, this is happening a little bit too often. Yeah, and I think, and to your point, I think it's happened enough that when I get that feeling, I'm just like I'm just gonna pay attention to whatever's going on. Okay. Yeah, heightened um, awareness. Yeah. That's that yeah. kind of stuff. That's okay. that kind of stuff where it's like people get the feeling before getting on an airplane and then the plane crash. But how many people are uh, how many people are afraid of flying already and are right. That's a th- yeah, that's like I mean, bailing I out on flights every week. You know, I guess the biggest thing it's easy to confuse all of them. You know, like like yeah. it's easy to like uh say you had a feeling when everyone has that feel, you know, like, so yeah, this is a scary thing. Know. Flying on an airplane yeah, is a yeah. scary thing. Uh, yeah. but like, but so like, I guess that's maybe why I'm so uh, pessimistic. You know, that, they're, um, yeah, but you're, you're, so like maybe, I don't know. Sometimes people are trying to get you to think, you know, they want it to be like somebody got off the airplane right before whatever bad thing happened. Yeah. I, but they leave out the part where they were completely dehydrated because they were totally wasted the night before and they were about to puke everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. It's like, so that's not the reason they got off the plane at all. Yeah. It's like one of those things. I don't know, man. Well, yeah. Sh- but, Shane. But then I, would you just, but I, then I take that impact greatly when I see something like that to me. So maybe that's it. Like I was dra- walking down like six months ago, I was walking through the East Village here and, uh, this car just peeled out through a stop sign, like really dramatically. And it's like all stop and go trap, you know, it's like a neighborhood. And then just started slamming into other cars that were parked erratically and like crashed into scaffolding. And this was like 15 feet in front of me. Really? And, uh, I was like, Oh, if I'd had my headphones in or I just like, I just ran across the street, you know, like she could have clipped me. Yeah. You know what I like? And for whatever reason, I just didn't have my headphones in. And I don't know if that's like, and it just found out that this woman just had a seizure while she was driving. Yeah. And uh, so my, my point being, like, maybe I, like, maybe it freaks me out too. Because I was like, man, it, why would I have my headphones out? I'm always listening to music. Why would, you know, like. That's the it's kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, that kind of feeling, though. Right. That I will get, I you know, I can get myself into some. <clears throat> crippling anxiety and panic, panic attacks. Not really frequently anymore, but I, I mean, I would overthink. You think about, you know, if you have like OCD as a kid, I was obsessed with like even numbers. Everything had to be done in even numbers and that kind of control, I, these like m- stuff, micro yeah. control kind of turned into, <clears throat> well, if I do this, you know, it's the same thing. It's, you know, Sean Patton has a long bit. It's like, if I do these things, something bad won't happen. If I don't do them, something bad yeah. will happen. But then it really turned into that whole, oh, it, you know, you're in, you're driving. If you get in an accident, like, oh, if I would have just a split second sooner or a split second later, 
this would have this could happen or wouldn't happen and i would start rewinding that into everything i was doing that day if i brush my teeth for 30 seconds more i might avoid an accident in 4 hours cuz my timing's off yeah and it's the butterfly effect kind of yeah, mentality yeah and like, that was like yeah. really putting a lot of knots in my thought process of like oh yeah, if i too. yeah if i yeah, if I do this thing, I'll, I'll miss I'll miss an accident by a split second. Or if I got in an accident, it's because I did like, oh, I'm going to go crazy if I do this to myself. Well, here's also another thing, and this is interesting to me, and is it that anxiety causing, like I, that brain functions feel similar to the same thing that makes you a good creative comic. Uh, check out Dirt Nap. It's on YouTube right now. Uh, but um, and watch Blue because you can kind of create the – uh, I guess we both do this a little bit. Like we kind of create these fantastic situations in your, you know, like that make that make you creative when you're writing yeah. bits. As opposed, so, uh, so that function feels similar to me in the same way of like overthinking, as the same way of like, yeah. um, that your anxiety panic is all like they feel like they work in the same. Yeah, kind of I, way I, I was trying to make a yeah. joke about how like creative, like being creative is also misery because. The intrusive thoughts are so much more descriptive and so much yes. more colorful than like, what if I just let go of the wheel and the car goes over the double yellow lines? Oh, welcome to everybody's first intrusive thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. you don't even yeah. want to know. Are you thinking about how cold? Are you are you thinking about how cold the water is? <laughs> yeah, and, how it, and you're not what, stuck what, down there for a like, week uh, trying to decide. Yeah, yeah, what, like, what if my keys <laughs> fell down the sewer? Get the fuck out of here with your entry level <laughs> intrusive thought shit. Yeah. Hey, I'm thinking about how my body's getting colder on the way up as I plunge into the river. First, it's my toes. Yeah. Then it's my calves. Yeah. I love my calves. That's the part of my body I'm actually proud of. Oh, and now my knees, these fucking dusty old rust buckets. Which, jo- you know, which like- joint locking up would make it the hardest to swim? Do you use your, are you a, are you a strong upper body or lower body? Could you yeah. swim just using your arms or could you swim just kicking? If you didn't have, a, what if you didn't have arms? Things happen all the time where you lose your arms. Everything you like yeah. involves your arms. Do you but, plan on rolling down the window when you, when you go over the bridge? Is your first thought not going to be, ah, but it's going to be like, I'm going to live. Yeah. <laughs> Push these buttons down so I have an X. Yeah. Yeah, don't come at me with your first thought. Your fucking pedestrian. What if I push somebody on the subway platform? You fucking. I honk. think about yeah. how many people can I push off the subway platform? Yeah. But now he's walking towards me, and now I'm thinking about what this person is thinking about. Like, why is he walking towards me? He just shoved that one guy. I don't know this guy. Do I know this I, guy? I bet he is that the guy from the coffee shop from four years ago. <laughs> he's been watching me this whole time. This guy. Oh crap! This guy knows I changed my shirt four times, and I'm still not happy about my choice. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. That that that's a pile of laundry I create almost daily. Uh, well, we didn't uh, ghost hunt, but I don't think those people aren't hurting anybody. The shows are silly. No, they're only <laughs> trespassing if they're doing anything. Yeah, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. I think the ghost hunting thing. I think we did a pretty good job. Maybe our most. Most thorough episode of psychoanalysis. Do you want to do videos. callers or let's get we got, well we yeah, gotta yeah, we have to do callers or something should work on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Buster. Okay. Here we are. Do we not have an ad for this episode? <laughs> we actually don't. There are no ads for this episode. Okay. Good. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> the ads just disappeared. They've abandoned <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, this is our origin story. Oh. Well, everyone will be right back. There's no break. We're just going to do calls, breaking it up for the symmetry. Okay. And we're back. Mm-hmm. Boo! Oh, who's our first call? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the lights are off in the living room. My roommate must be home. Ah! Okay, here's the first call. <laughs> hey, I just seen y'all's post um, <clears throat> about ghost hunting. I just wanted to call really quick and say, uh, as a kid, terrified me because I was foolish and I believed in everything. Mm-hmm. As an adult, I love Ghostbusters. So what can I really say? Ghost hunting, uh, dudes on TV being silly and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, cool, good for them. They got a job. It's entertaining. It's spooky sometimes. Like I said, as a kid, I was spooked. 
uh, as an adult, those guys seem kind of annoying, but whatever. They're just messing around in the woods doing them. Again, watch Ghostbusters if you have it. I don't know anybody who hasn't, but <laughs> get around to it. <clears throat> uh, I just rewatched Dollar it. Store Plate guy from Denver. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Man. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Dollar Store Plate guy from Denver. Hey, Bustin makes you feel good. <laughs> that's, all, that's all you got to say, man. Mm-hmm. Bustin. Oh, yeah, yeah. You- Bustin makes me feel good. <laughs> Bustin. <laughs> Here's the next call. <laughs> oh, good. What's up, Shane? What's up, Kyle? What's up, Shardub? What up? Shout out to Buster. Oh, yeah. Have a good shout out to Superman Cody. Oh, man. Hey. I saw y'all Instagram reels about <laughs> ghost hunting. Oh, man. I grew up with that. I grew up with that shit. So like five years old, me and my pop would sit down every Friday, every Thursday, just binging the ghost shows, like Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures. We even went on a couple ghost hunting trips or ghost hunting designations, something like okay. that, <laughs> to some cemeteries local to Fort Worth. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, ghost hunting. Shit's legit. Oh, this hobby from Fort Worth, out. <laughs> I love hearing a guy who just by his way of speaking doesn't sound like he'd be into ghost hunting and then he yeah, is he into ghost awesome. hunting he's from my home cool town. man thank you for I that like, call shit's legit here's what here's what I like about him for a little bit I thought he was just gonna talk about the the ghost hunting shows yeah <laughs> the, I thought he was like he thought we were just <laughs> <laughs> that guy kicks ass. I didn't realize those shows have been on that long. If he was five, I guess, yeah, yeah. things have been around for 20 some years at this point. That seemed like they came out a couple years ago, but it's so crazy. Wow. We would, uh, I got drunk with the guys who had the Sasquatch hunting show at, at White Owl. And oh, yeah, I met, I met some of yeah. them. Yeah, I met some of them in Humboldt. Yeah, yeah that guy is a character. Have you been to the Sasquatch I, Hunting Club in Portland, Kyle? No. It's at St. John's the first Friday of the month at the St. Wow. John's um pu- uh that that burger place that's on the corner there. That looks like a sock hop and it's also a costume shop, but it has good burgers. That place. It's the most fucking Portland business <laughs> in my fucking life. <laughs> Where should we meet up to talk about Bigfoot? Well, I'm probably going to be hungry, so I should make it to Burger King. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, <laughs> but now knowing that, and I believe this Friday is the first Friday, so. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the first Are Friday. Are you home this week? I am. I'll look it up right Christ. now. Christ. Yeah. I know what your, Insta- I know what your Instagram is going to look like this week. Be careful, though, because when they said, here are the 10 other bridges that are about to do what Baltimore Bridge did, one of them is St. John's Bridge. Shane, you have a right to be scared of driving over water now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, here. I always did. But here's the I next message. Did. Hey, always. it's Kitty Cat Cody, not Soup Cody. Uh, I think ghost hunting. If you just want to do that as a hobby, that's fine. But those TV shows are so fucking stupid and boring. My wife liked the yeah. Zach Baggins show, and I was just sitting there roasting it one day, and then I googled his net worth and I found out he had thirty million dollars and I decided to get wildly drunk after that and just keep roasting him. So those dudes are just fucking dorks. Like when I just talk to nobody in an empty abandoned building, I'm crazy. But when they do it, it gets a fucking Netflix deal. It's not fair. Yeah, meow. I I don't know about thirty million dollars. I'm gonna look. What's his name? Zach. It's dirty man. Zach Baggins. <laughs> that is a mystery how that happens. <laughs> I the net worth thing. Yeah, is these crazy. websites are million. not. Uh, yeah, where do they even get that information from? It's wild to me. Uh, this guy looks like a fucking okay. European sexual assaultist. Yeah, you know, uh, sexual well, assaultist. <laughs> <laughs> like it's an art form. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's the last message while you look that up. <laughs> I see two million. 
Hey, you guys, and Charlene, this is your guy, Travis in Fort Collins. I'm calling in about the ghost hunting. Um, I personally don't know if there are ghosts. My mom swears one used to talk to her when we lived in a funeral home for a few months. It was an old mm-hmm. mansion that had been split between being a funeral home and a rental apartment. And she swore when she did laundry, some little dude sat and talked to her. Can't take that away from her, but I've never seen it. I've always wanted to see ghosts. That's why we used to break into the asylum yeah, in Peoria in Illinois and look Ooh, around. Nice one. As shit, but never saw it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I try to keep an open mind. But I also have never thought I've been ghost hunting because I've never taken a rifle to look for ghosts. More like bird spotting. You know, I just mm-hmm. gone out and looked for ghosts, so it's more ghost spotting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, on that tip, I always try to keep it over mine. I'd love to see one, but haven't seen anything yet to make me think that it's actually a thing. Anyway, enjoy the show, guys, and Charlene, and uh, hope to see you guys all in Fort Collins later. Hey, there, man. All right. <clears throat> Goodbye from you. Um, I say. Uh. If it's in a funeral home, you share. Yeah, that's a little. That would freak me out. I think that's a little soup. Like, I don't. Know. But that's just where the body is. I don't know if the spirit needs to be. That's there. You know, my like, thing. I, I always think the ghost would be where the person dies, not where they're just the dead stuff is. That's why I never thought cemeteries be haunted. I thought hospitals would be more haunted. And if you want to know about net worth, according to the internet, my net worth is nineteen million dollars. So. <laughs> <laughs> believe wow. what you will. Believe what you will about Zach Baggins' thirty million, because apparently I'm wow, fucking were... swimming in it. <laughs> and tell me, did you? See... Well, that's because the Patreon's finally from up. It's from pretty... <laughs> from from Bean Street to Park Avenue. <laughs> God. No soundboard on that one, though, huh, Charlie? Uh... Sorry, I was pulling up Cody's email or voicemail. Uh, oh. Let's get it. Hey, everybody. This has been No Accounting for Taste. Kyle, tell them where they can find you before we get to it. We always like to serve a little soup for dessert. So, Kyle Kinane on the internet. Dirt naps for free on YouTube right now. Watch it with commercials the way I intended. Yes. Shane, what about uh, you? Uh, I am also for free on the internet uh, in every medium I do now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's mm-hmm. happening in my life? Mm-hmm. I'm alone. Anyway, <sighs> uh, The Blue-Eyed Mexican on YouTube, on my channel, as well as Bert Kreischer's, please give it a watch. Uh, and you can catch me next. Is this coming out next week? Mm-hmm. I think it is, yep. right? Uh, at the San Francisco Punchline this week, Wednesday through Saturday. Shows are selling fast, daddy. I'll tell you what's disappearing is seats. Get in there now. Okay. Anyways, get some tickets. <laughs> Hey, fuck That's off. good. I like. I liked it. I thought it was a good sell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not you. It was Charlie. She doesn't want to like. She doesn't want to like me today. Like I don't want to like ghosts. Anyway, catch me there. You can get me at Moon Tower in Austin. I got a solo show doing an hour at the festival. It'll be fun. It's a whole new hour. And uh, can follow me on YouTube and those Instagrams, all that stuff. It, that's how it works now. I can't just be good. I have to be an uh, internet mogul. <laughs> Well, let's listen to Cody. <laughs> Tell you what's disappearing is the spirit I have. Oh. You boys. I don't know when you're in the play, but uh, one St. Patrick's Day. Is that already passed? Well, fuck. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had Guinness beef stew, and it was fucking delicious. We already reviewed Pozole, so this one's for the other half of Shane. Um... <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Very hearty. Uh, you know, the basic carrots and celery and onions. And, and then they throw a bottle of beer in there and some beef. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, uh, shout out to the Dodo in Sugar House, Utah. Great bowl of soup. Very filling. Uh, I only had like half a sandwich and a bowl of soup. I was full, uh, and I'm a tub of shit. I mean, I, I usually eat a lot more, and that was amazing. Um, yeah, KyleCanadian.com, Shane is a comedian.com. Yeah. Uh, you can see them in clubs and colleges across the country. Uh, I just wanted to add, as far as lies your family told you, 
Um, <clears throat> this one's on me. One time I told my niece that uh, people in Africa eat pennies because that one commercial came on for pennies a day. You can see that. And she asked, like, for pennies a day? And I was like, yeah, they eat pennies. And I had her convinced for about a year. So uh, <laughs> my bad. I think pennies. I accidentally made someone racist for a year in junior high. So that. Oh, hey. <laughs> Don't look at any old tweets. Cause this think you made a lot of people enough. racist right, towards white right, people. See you later. Uh, Cody. Man. Cody, you just have your own show. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the menu for this restaurant you're talking about. It looks great. Roasted tomato polenta hey, Cody, cakes. Oh. Can we get him Cody, will you start emailing pictures of soup to the pod as well? <laughs> Can we reimburse you for this? Can we uh, Yeah. Yeah. We would like like some I think we should Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> I love. Uh, I don't fucking understand. I don't know what's going on in this world. And I'm happy. I'm happy that we're yeah. opening up to stews, other vi- yeah, other viscous I'm, I'm, items, you know, other viscous yeah. lunch items. And hey, if anybody's got um, desserts they want to call in about, let's add that to the mix too. I've been eating a lot of sweets. Lately. I mean, yeah, I don't want to step on Cody's soup action. I think there's still so many soups. We got. That's we got to get fair. this guy yeah. through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe we'll. Uh... Yeah, that's very fair. You're right. Oh. Don't call him with your fucking desserts. Don't tempt us. It's lunchtime. He's talking about a nice stew. It's a little chilly out. Oh damn! Thank you, Cody. You gotta go. Well, everyone, our thanks as always to Charlene. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. This week, no <laughs> thanks. You've been a pain in my ass. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm still happy uh, to see you, Charlene. <laughs> thanks. We'll see I if you her. guys get to ever listen to this episode. With so, that yeah, we'll see if this, if, see if this gets <laughs> uploaded. I'm sorry I gave you the norovirus last week, Charlene. <laughs> Me and, too. That's what it is. You're me-, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, everyone, we love you. Thank you for listening. Uh, give us a ring, 971-259-8302. Let us know what you want to talk about. And thanks to Cody. Thanks to everybody who called in for the ghost hunting. Uh, Bustin makes me goodbye. feel good. New episodes are appearing every Monday oh, no. in your speed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>